dialog messages. You use the message statement to send dialog messages to the users of your program. When you do this, you must specify the three digit message number and the message class. Dialog message. For example, you type in the above keyword message and then you specify the three digit number and the message class. The type of the message can be an info message, a set message, a warning, an error, a termination or a short dump. As you can see in this table, when it is an info message the program continues after interruption. If it is an error message for example, the dialog behavior is context dependent. When it is a termination the program is cancelled and when it is a short dump there is a runtime error message type x. Message number and message class clearly identified the message to be displayed. You use the message type to specify where the message is to be displayed. You can test the display behavior for using the different message types by means of the demo messages demo program that is shipped in the SAP standard. For further information on the syntactical alternatives to the message statement, refer to the keyword documentation. Let's take a look inside SAP uh, the message about statement and how does it work. So let's take a look at the demo messages program inside the system. Let's navigate to transaction SE38 to the ABAP editor. And now let's type in the program demo underscore messages and let's take a look at its source code inside the program we can see various declarations of a lot of variables this is a program to demonstrate the message statement in different places we still haven't seen all of these ABAP keywords but don't worry because we'll cover them in later courses. For now let's just navigate to the perform call message and double click it. Inside we can see an example of the message statement. We type message ID, we specify the message class that will be the message class that we talked earlier. We specify a type and a three digit message number. And optionally, we can specify the width ABAP keyword to send some parameters to the message class. So, for example, we can specify the type I type W for warning type E for error let's take a look at, the, at this program let's run it so we can see the different types so for example this program displays all the different types that we can use if the message statement is called for example from a main program for example if we display a message type I of information the system will uh, show us a pop-up and it will display our message and as you can see the flow for program continues where we were where we left if we try a status message type, instead of showing up a pop, 
the system shows a message in the bar below at the left corner. If we display a warning message, the system also displays the message in the bar in the left corner but it displays this icon. And the flow of the program is stopped. So let's run our program again. If we display an exit message, for example, for a short dump, this is what the program will display. And we can specify a short text and some analysis for the error. The system shows the line that trigger that event and we can examine our error so let's you have to go back to the ABAP editor because the short dumps bring us back to the SAP PC access menu so we navigate again to the ABAP editor and we run one more time the demo messages and let's take a look look at the error type it displays also a message in the bar in the left corner and it also stops the program flow so we run it one more time and finally let's take a look at the A type and it shows us a pop-up window with the message and it also stops the flow of our program you can examine the demo messages a little bit more and play with it to learn more about the message ABAP statement.